Hey, good evening all my Facebook friends. This is Brandy Karsten, the Musical Health Coach. Thanks for joining me for Fortissimo Friday. I watched the most amazing YouTube video uh, within the last week. And what it shows is the Ibex, I-B-E-X, mountain goat, uh, scales a nearly vertical wall to get to the top where there's some salt deposits that it needs to lick. And it's highly motivated to do that because it needs the salt in order to survive. The salt helps their muscles develop and it helps their internal organs work properly. And in fact, the little baby kid uh, will follow it all the way to the top. And you see the goat, you know, start to slip a little bit and it's scary because the guy filming it is looking down, it's a dam actually, looking from the top of the dam and the, the walls uh, of the dam looks like it's almost exactly vertical. It's not, it's just a little bit you know, uh, but it's almost vertical. Anyway, it's amazing because the, the angle that they're filming from is show that it's like the, the goat is glued to the side of the wall and it's walking along. It's just really bizarre. Anyway, my point is, is that the mountain goat really wants that salt. It's very motivated. There is basically two kinds of motivation. Um, there is, it's called intrinsic motivation and extrinsic motivation. And here's the basic definition. Intrinsic motivation involves doing something because it's personally rewarding to you. Extrinsic motivation involves doing something because you want to earn a reward or avoid a punishment. Here's some examples of how that works. Um, say you're reading a book. You either read the book you know, intrinsically because you enjoy reading, uh, you enjoy the plot or the storyline, versus uh, the extrinsic one, reading a book because uh, you got to study for a test, right? Here's another couple of examples. Exercising because you want to relieve stress or exercising because you want to lose weight. Uh, or maybe cleaning your house because it feels good to be organized and you like cleanliness or cleaning your house because you have company coming over. See the difference between the two? Um, Dr. Wayne Scott Anderson, the doctor that I've partnered with, uh, for my health coach practice, uh, says this about uh, intrinsic and extrinsic motivation. Personally rewarding or intrinsically motivated goals are easier to maintain and will eventually become a habit. Extrinsic motivation is dependent on external rewards that are outside of an individual's control. Here's another example. Um, do you compare yourself to somebody else? If you've got a goal in mind or something, do you constantly compare yourself to somebody else? Or are you trying to just compare yourself to you and trying to get better every time you do something? One's an example of extrinsic motivation, um, trying to compare yourself with somebody else, and that's exhausting, and that isn't going to get you anywhere in the long run. Intrinsic motivation is you want to get better every time, and you look at every time you fall down as a uh, way that you've learned that it's not going to work, and you try something different. So see the difference between those two? <clears throat> I know that athletes have to go to a certain place in their mind to be successful over a long term. Um, you know, there's always the competitive thing where healthy competition is a good thing. But at a certain point, the athlete has to visualize and hear and be intrinsically motivated to be able to reach their goal. And of course, you know, in the Olympics, um, they want to win the gold medal. And so they're working towards that. But they have to go to a place in here if they're constantly comparing themselves to the other athletes, they're going to psych themselves out. <clears throat> Speaking of the Olympics, um, a while back I wrote an Olympic fanfare for a, uh, um, a music library company that hired me to write some stuff for them. <clears throat> and I called it Olympic fanfare. It actually got changed to the name of The Phoenix. Um, but I'll just play it. It's really short, but it's basically for brass and timpani. And so I'll just, I'll play it for you. Here we go.
those parts in there, but you can hear right in here. This is obviously where the French horns play by themselves. You know, it's kind of an Olympic thing to play perfect fifths and stuff like that. Now the rest of the brass comes in. Anyway, that's the Olympic theme. If we're trying to stay motivated to reach a goal that we're really working on, we have to make it about up here and be intrinsically motivated, make it something that's personally rewarding to us to be able to move forward. If we're constantly comparing ourselves to everybody else, that's an extrinsic thing, then we're not going to reach our goal in the long run. So I hope that you are working hard on your goal and you're making it about what you really want to create in here instead of what somebody else thinks about you. Hope you've enjoyed this evening on my Fortissimo Friday. And uh, hope you have a super weekend. And of course, again, it's always up to you to do that. Have a great weekend. See you. Bye-bye.